Now for a good surprise coming out of a full team. So not just like one driver doing better than we thought they would or, you know, something like that, but a whole team being a good surprise on the grid this season. Who you got? I actually picked Visa Cash App RB. Um, our our good I old friends too. at Carbo. <laughs> I so the reason why I picked them as as biggest surprise is I feel like they are going to be the top midfield team of the year. I do too, and I so I agree and I don't. I feel like they could even maybe leapfrog Mercedes because if they're going off of the the Red Bull car last season, that car is really really good. Even if cars mm-hmm. get a little bit better, that car is still going to perform really really well. Who knows what's happening at Mercedes? I feel like they could be like first one off the podium. I really do. Depending on yeah. how Yuki and Danny drive, um, I also so I was between two. I ended up with um, carbohydrate team. However, I think Williams is also going to have a really good season this year, coming off of all Agreed. the success that Albon had last year and. At the end of last season, I was really high on Williams. I'm still really high on Williams. I think it'll be like it. We won't necessarily be talking about, you know, McLaren and Aston Martin right in the mix four or five. I think it's going to be uh, V Carb and Williams this year. Yeah, the, the battle Aston that Martin we saw at the end of last year is is going to continue this year. And then, yeah, Aston Martin's a really big question mark. Yeah, I just I don't know where they're going to end up. I haven't heard a lot coming out of that team, um, but you have Fernando Alonso, so you never really know, you know what yeah. you're gonna. You could do a lot with a little because um, he's such a great driver. But I think between V Carb and Williams, it's going to be really, a really interesting fight at the top of like the midfield teams. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so on the flip side, <laughs> who do you think will be a big disappointment? <laughs> As a team, I picked Mercedes. I I I think that Mercedes is going to I mean, not that I think that the car is the main reason why Lewis left Mercedes. Obviously, if you watch the winter break uh, part three episode, you will hear all of the reasons why Lewis made the jump. But clearly not having a competitive car is one of the reasons why he's leaving, whether he's ever going to say that or not. So my, my biggest concern is that Mercedes is just really not going to, to be good this year. And now when I think disappointment and underperforming, I don't mean that they're going to be like seventh in the championship. Right. They're probably going to be somewhere in like the, the fourth or fifth positions like that. That would be, I mean, Finishing P5 would be devastating for Toto and, and co. Um, but I, I do think that they will underperform. And it it really is going to hinge on, you know, can George take a leadership role in a team that Lewis is leaving? And can Lewis not want to drive this car off a cliff like he wanted to drive the car off a cliff last year? Because it was just so upsetting to him and it's just so bad. Yeah, I think that garage has fallen apart a little bit, to be completely mm-hmm. honest. I don't think they have a leader in George. Maybe I'm wrong. He just doesn't seem like the take charge and lead a team. He's just been really maybe. struggling. Like, last year was not... He did like, not he... have a great year last year. I just, I don't know. I think the pressure is kind of getting to him. Lewis leaving, he's going to feel like he has to fill those shoes. He can't. They'll probably bring in a really experienced driver. George will have to take another step back. Like... I just think there's a lot going on there that is going to be a huge distraction and not be helpful for the team this year. Just with Lewis leaving, it's his last season with Mercedes and all of that. I think there's a lot of noise and they won't be able to truly focus. Um, So no, I think that's a, that's a really good call. Yeah. Thank you. Um, In a out of left field, Probably would not expect me to pick this as a big disappointment. Um, But again, I picked it based on expectations. I picked Ferrari. So I I don't think they're going to have the season they think they're going to have. I think they're going to underperform for, you know, Ferrari. And I'm sure they're going to make a thousand and one strategy mistakes that are just not needed. Um, yeah. if Ferrari's strategy was better last year, they would have ended the season in 
you know, ahead of Mercedes, but they didn't. And I feel like there's just going to be a lot of small things that add up to a big, you know, swing in points that they won't be able to make up. Because if Ferrari had better strategy and drove a, and they drove a little bit better, they would have won more than one race last season. But oh, I think 100%. I think it's really just, you know, down to the strategy. So maybe we'll say the biggest disappointment is going to be Ferrari's strategy department. Um, yeah. But I don't think Ferrari is going to have the season everyone is hoping for coming off of last season. Yeah, I can I can definitely see that. I think that, you know, they're they're going to struggle with the things that Ferrari struggles with every year and that it doesn't even speak to there were reliability issues yeah. that we that we saw last year that they definitely need to solve like, you know, Charles Leclerc crashing into a wall on the formation lap can't happen again. God. Hey, at least it wasn't a double DNF. Um, but no, I think, I think there's just going to be a lot of noise around Ferrari this year too, with like Lewis coming next season and everyone just wanting to know about that. And I think again, this garage is going to have a lot of distractions because of the, the Lewis move. So, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, well, 